This is the man I flew to Tokyo to meet, is Takashi Harada. He's about 50 years old today, and he started out as a junior high school teacher in Osaka, Japan. Osaka is the second largest city in Japan, and he was a junior high school teacher for about 20 years. He was a track and field coach. He ended up in the worst school in the city. Out of 380 schools, he was in the worst school. He was in the slums, if there's such a thing as slums in Japan. It was the slums. It was the poorest neighborhood. The kids used to come to school if they did come to school. They didn't believe in themselves. Do you know, they came from broken homes. It was terrible, the environment. But he wouldn't accept it. He wanted them to be the best athletes in all of, not all, all of, not just Osaka. He wanted them to be the best athletes in all of Japan. And how he's going to do it? Well, he studied the best in the world. He studied every great coach in the world. And then it came to him one day that, you know, there are coaches in Osaka. I want you to think about this in parallel yourself. There are coaches in Osaka that every year have a great team. I say to parallel yourself because there are companies out there that are always successful. And what are they doing that you're not doing? And you copy. I mean, this, this, this thing that we learn in the school system is you have to be innovative. That's nuts. You copy. Then you can innovate. What Harada did, <laughs> amazing man. He looked at the, he said, you know, there are schools in Osaka that every year are great. What is that coach doing that we're not doing? And he said, you know, those coaches, maybe they're better neighborhoods. But they can't go out of the neighborhood to get players. It's not like college. It's not like professional. They can go anywhere to get the top player, right, if you have the money. But if you're, if you're in school system, you've got to take what you get and develop them somehow. Well, how do you really develop people? That's what this is all about, day-to-day -day management. I'm told that the Harada method is the best method in the world in day-to-day -day management, day-to-day -day management, to develop people to their highest capability. There is a process, is what we're told, that we can develop people to their highest capability, to challenge them, as we just heard from John. OK, so Harada got all excited with this vision that if somebody else can do it, why can't I? And that's my concept. If somebody else can do it, why can't I? That's one great concept for me. If they can do it, somehow I can do it. And then if something has to be done, I should do it. Why should I wait for somebody else to do it? It has to begin somewhere. Why shouldn't it begin with me? Those are two wonderful things that I like. So I'm, I meet this amazing man. And what he did is he copied every one of the, he knew the work of John Wooden. I'm sure he knew Krzyzewski. I'm sure he knew Williams. I'm sure he knew all these great coaches that we have in America. I left out Kentucky. Who did I leave out? Tino's pretty good, too. <laughs> um, who's the coach of Kentucky, the basketball team? Cal Perry. What? Hey, don't call for Cal Perry. John Kelly. John Kelly, thank you. OK, so he studied everybody. Well, he started to try to teach these students. He wanted to motivate them. He wanted to be great athletes. You know, he wanted to be really great athletes. And so he started to push them a little bit. You want, first of all, you got to come to school. You got to come to school on time. You know, 9 o'clock is school, not 10.30. You got to be here on time. And she started to push the students. I want to make you into great athletes. Well, they grumbled and grumbled. And finally, one day, the principal comes, the parents come, and the students come, and they confront him. And they say, Mr. Harada, what are you trying to do with our children? And Harada says, what I'm trying to do with your children is that they succeed in life. I want them to be great in life. Don't you want your son to be great? You have a child? You have a son? Do you want it to be great? OK. That's what he said. I want it to be. If you let me, this is what he told them, you give me three years, and I guarantee this high school, which is the worst rated out of 380 high schools, we're going to be number one in Osaka. And if we're not number one, fire me. And they said, OK. And they eased up. And they let him begin to implement I think it's the most amazing method, and it's not complicated, and we'll teach you as much as we can in the next hour to see if you can begin the process in your own organization to really focus on how everybody there can possibly be the best. Now, 
What was so amazing, I was there in Japan, that was last year, I was there the day of the earthquake. I was lucky I wasn't in North, North Japan, I was in Osaka, but that building shook, shook for 10 minutes. This is 500 miles away, and the building was shaking back and forth, and I'm standing in the building, and the elevator stopped. And this is 500 miles away, that's how intense the, earth, the earthquake was at that moment. I was taking a course. If I'm going to teach Harada, I have to go learn from him. I've been to him eight times already to try to learn this method to perfect it, and now I'm writing a book with him. The school was the worst out of 380 schools. And within three years, to the best, what did he do? I'm working with a company called CIBC Bank in Canada. They're rated number five in customer service. And I told them, I believe that I can help you become number one in customer service in three years. I think that I can replicate what Harada did with this school, with that bank with 40,000 people. It's not complicated. You don't have to be a brain surgeon. You just have to inspire people somehow to attain the best that they possibly can. And so I mentioned the coaches. 13 of his students in the next two years won gold medals. That means they never had a gold medalist at the school before. Never. 13 students won gold medals. That means they were the best athlete in all of Japan, not just Osaka, but the all of Japan. It's a funny story, too, as I'm writing this book with him, is one woman is standing at the podium. She won like by, the, by half a second. She won her event. She's standing on the podium, you know, and they're saying to her, she's waving at Harada, and they're saying to her in the microphone, well, what did you do to win? What do you think she said? What did you do to win? She said, I wash dishes at home every night. Just think of that. We'll come back to that. I wash dishes every night at home. It's the reason I won my gold medal. This is part of the Harada method, which is so powerful. Think about that a little bit. And the school became the best school out of three. It went from the worst school. I said, Harada, was your school the worst school? He says, I don't know, because we were the only school that was not rated. <laughs> to the best school for the next 12 years in a row. Harada left the school system 10 years ago, but it's continued to be the best because it's following the formula that he laid down that I hope I can communicate a little bit to you today, that there is a possibility, there is a method for you to be the best possible you.